So you just got your first resin 3D printer. Ah, that's my intro. This is Ground Affected. My name is your dad. And welcome to seeing if Frozen really does make 3D printing, I forgot the words, fun and easy. In this video, I'm going to take you through opening up your first printer, how to set it up and get you printing your own statue so you can make models. Let's pretend this isn't on the table and get it out of the box before I got it out of the box this time round. Once you've taken the machine out of the box, you're going to end up with a load of bits and pieces, the build plate. Also in the box, you're going to get a couple of USB things. Now, of course, you also get a couple of tools, and these tools are Allen wrenches. These are good for, obviously, leveling your build plate, taking out things that you might take out. You shouldn't take out things, but if you took out things, those tools would be very good for taking things out with. Now that we have the printer on the table, we need to obviously set this up so we can print. We need to remember that these things are machines, and they need a human to tell it how to behave. So the first thing we're going to need to do is level the build plate to the screen on the machine so that the machine itself knows how to start printing and where level zero is. Of course level zero is the first layer you're going to be printing and this is the most important layer. Turn the printer on. The first thing the machine asks you to do is name the printer. Also, as you'll notice, it comes up with a QWERTY keyboard, which is pretty cool. Now I'm gonna name my printer, and I think Fred is an appropriate name. How to set up the printer for the first time use. Please follow the steps. You don't even need me for this. This thing is just gonna take you through how to set it up by itself. The LCD test, calibrate your Z axis and perform the printing test. All right, let's do it. LCD test, the printer will automatically test the LCD in three different modes. Something very important when you get a new printer, you always wanna test the screen. This one is running through multiple tests, which is really good because this shows you how the screen is reacting to the light and using the pixels within the screen. You want to check this when you get a new printer before you start printing or even pour any resin in anywhere. And this is because if this screen is broke or anything looks weird at this stage, you need to get that printer replaced or replaced. So the next step is a Z-axis calibration. Now you want to take this build plate and you want to loosen up the screws that are on the side of the build plate. This will make it so that the top part that holds the plate onto the arm that moves up and down loose. So you're not going to smash your screen when you do the next step. Now the machine asks you to put a piece of A4 paper on the top of the screen while you do this next step. I'm going to press next because that is the only option I have. The machine has now moved the Z-axis to what the machine knows as zero. This is where your prints will start printing from. Now it is time to tighten the screws to complete this calibration. This is one of the most important calibrations. You want to put a little bit of pressure, not too much, but you do want to add a little bit of pressure as you tighten these screws. Now that I've tightened the screws, I'm going to push done. The Z axis will rise itself high enough for you to be able to put your vat back into the machine and to fill it up with some resin. The next few steps are going to be working on how we get the correct exposure for this particular machine and the resin that we're using. I'm like in a echo, echo. This vat has screws that are actually exposed, which go into these indents on the top of the machine, which obviously help you to line up this nice and easy so you can't do it in the wrong place. Make sure that these screws are tightened because these screws keep the vat in place. You don't want this vat lifting up full of resin. 
I don't know if you know this, but Fred has a screensaver. Bruh. Now you're going to install a slicing software onto your computer and you're going to use this to slice your favorite chosen resin exposure finding test calibration print thing. Usually I run one, two, maybe even three of these. Sometimes I get it right the first time around, but it's very rare that that happens. So you want to run these one or two times just at least to get the basic for your exposure settings. And once you're done with that, you're good to go. With the Frozen Sonic Mighty 8K, I'm able to print multiple miniatures on one build plate in one go. Also, when I'm printing large statues, this machine is able to print big models in great details. And this is because this machine is a great compromise between high precision detail printing as well as large scale printing. Now that you've got your exposure settings right for your machine, it is time to find your favorite sculptor and pay them lots of money to download their files and set them up in your favorite slicer to print out and make yourself some amazing statues. Hopefully you managed to find something in this video that will help you with your own endeavors in 3D printing and model making in the future. I would like to say a super special thank you to my Patreons for their support in all of this. It is because of them that I'm able to make these videos every week so you can keep up with the latest and greatest in 3D printing and model making techniques. Also these lights are blinding my eyeballs, they're very bright. Thank you Patreons for your great cooperation in this matter. Now it is my favorite part of every video that I've ever made and this is where I get to tell you that if you didn't like anything you saw in this video, well you could just f*** off. Now I need to go put some a lot of things in my printer so I can make some fancy models and nobody will complain for there will be videos in the video.